So why are smell and emotion connected? Well, that's because our sense of smell is one of the only senses that projects directly to the amygdala in the brain. The amygdala is a center for emotion, also important for coding some nonverbal memories deep inside uh, the brain. And smell projects directly there. It doesn't go via the thalamus as all of the other senses do. So it doesn't get extra processing and you might say extra interference. It just goes straight to the centers for emotion. And that's why I think you have this very strong connection between smells being nice or nasty, uh, making you feel happy or making you feel a little disgusted. It's very, very emotional, very hedonic straight away. But also because you have that two-way direction between the amygdala and the brain, the center for emotional, quick emotional response, and your sense of smell, it means that if your emotions are flat, if your mood is low, if you're feeling a little depressed, you don't actually smell things so well. And people will often say, their food doesn't taste so good or you will have wine tasters or coffee tasters or tea tasters saying I'm not getting anything today and that's because their their mood is actually quite low so given that connection between smell and emotions you can see why it's so important that you keep and retain your sense of smell as long as you can as you get older your sense of smell will fade but practicing paying attention to smell smelling things in your environment will actually keep your sense of smell longer probably better for you mentally than sudoku so use your sense of smell if we don't use it we lose it because it's very important for regulating mood and emotion